Right then, let's see what this puppy's like. Better not be shit. Okay. Okay, helpful control panel. <laughs> I'm willing to take full responsibility for the horrible events of the last 24 hours, but you must understand. Our interest in their world was purely for the betterment of mankind. Oh, shut up! I assure you. I think I just did sex we. Hello campers, my name is Paul Hughes, I am the Lord of Leisure, and welcome once again to the Gaming Car Crash! Now, you may have already guessed this, but um, we're going to be looking at Doom! Uh, not to be confused, of course, with Doom! I mean, the other Doom! But don't ask me, they bloody named it that. This is the game from id Software and Bethesda Softworks, which has a lot to live up to, especially given its namesake. Hell, even newborn babies seem to know about the legend that is Doom. I mean, the old Doom, not the this new Doom. Yep. Yeah. Fuck's sake, why did they have to call it the same thing? <clears throat> anyway, it hasn't all been smooth sailing for the run-up to the new Doom's release. Previously, when the new Doom open beta was out, everyone lost their shit. I mean, by that, I mean everyone was hating the multiplayer and wanted it to burn in hell. <laughs> See the joke I did there about Doom burning in hell? Yeah. yeah. Ah, classic. The fact that no gaming outlet was able to play through the single player before release, mainly for review purposes either, it seemed that everyone was getting the idea that this would be dead on arrival. After all, when someone has confidence in their game, they normally send it out early for everyone to guffaw over. Doom, however, was nowhere to be seen until release day. Of course, id Software's own recent release history, as far as their games go, it hasn't really helped matters as, well, as far as their reputation goes and, well, perhaps how low people's expectations have become. Well, as you're about to see. Doom 3 released back in 2004 and then re-released as the BFG edition in 2012 didn't exactly leave a lasting legacy. Rather than be fast-paced and have a variety of different environments full of colour, a la that silly first game no one remembers, they proceeded to turn the lights off and decided just to scare the shit out of you. While Doom 3 was technically impressive at the time and still holds up to this day in terms of technology, after the 58th jump scare, where some fucking monster just jumped at you from some cabinet, closet, or where the bloody hell it was attempting to hide, it just started to piss you off more than anything else. Mods even turned up quickly where you could duct tape a light to your gun, thus allowing you to see what was going on while basically allowing you to defend yourself for a change. Id Software did attempt to add a real story to what happened in Doom 3, as opposed to the tomb lines they gave you back in the old days of Doom, and looking back on it, it's not all bad. 
But let's be fair, the slower pace and inability to see what the fuck you're meant to be shooting at pretty much leaves a sad taste in the mouth. Rage was released in 2011, and this was id Software's take on the type of wasteland we'd be left with when shit would hit the oscillating cooling device. So, Fallout, basically. Once again, there was a lovely story and lots of lovely people to interact with in between the driving around which they introduced and shooty shooty bang bang bits contained in the game. Rage didn't capture the imagination like its previous games for a lot of people, though personally for the record I do have to say I did enjoy this for a good while. Excellent graphics and animation along with some decent ish shooting, at least when you got the shotgun, it, it, it did provide a decent experience, I do have to admit this but it did get boring due to the repetitive nature of the gameplay and a severe lack of different enemies. Seriously, I think I counted two types of enemies during my entire gameplay. Bioshock may have gotten away with that shit with the splices, but not Rage it appears. So that was Rage. It was left far behind and probably forgotten by a lot of people. Actually, come to think of it, this is probably the only time you'll see someone mention Rage since its release. Shame, really. Meanwhile, back at the launch, while id Software were slowly but surely losing their mojo, by all appearances to us on the outside, it seems that people were taking its properties and doing some really good stuff to fill in the gap left behind for decent old school first person shooters. Doom enjoyed a massive modding community, increased even more when the source code for the game was made public. How many years ago now? Good lord. I'm really getting old. Anyway. One of the more popular mods is Brutal Doom, fudged around with by a chap called Sergeant Mark IV. He basically added modern shooting mechanics and a hell of a lot more gore to proceedings, thus bringing new life to a game probably well past puberty by now, come to think of it. Meanwhile, Wolfenstein, another of its series of the shooty shooty bang bang type of games, had also struggled over the years, but that kind of changed when machine games arrived on the scene with the single player only Wolfenstein The New Order back in 2014, where basically you arrived in an alternative timeline where the Nazis actually won the Second World War. This game was praised by many as being a hell of a lot of fun and I have to actually join that ranks too. Hell, I even finished the game and that's unusual for me these days. It introduced some new ideas while keeping a lot of the old school mechanics that made the original first person shooters incredibly enjoyable. So when people were going meh over the Doom multiplayer beta, the onus was on id Software and Bethesda Softworks to deliver the goods and perhaps restore some good faith people once had for the company which truly kickstarted the first person shooter genre we all love and shoot the crap out of on a daily basis. So, is this game a return to form for the granddaddy of Shooty Shooty Bang Bang? Or will we be taking the game disc out the back and shooting it in the heady weddy... I don't know where I'm going with this. Anyway, to answer that, we will of course be looking at the single player, the multiplayer, and something that they've added called Snap Map. Once we do all that, then I reckon it's conclusion time. Sounds like a plan, no? Then let us go! So let's get to the single player campaign and let's talk about the story because yeah it actually does have one. So the story is you play as the Doom Marine who wanders through Mars and Hell. He shoots and punches evil bastards like this. And that's about it. Okay, it's a bit of a lie there. If you do want a story, there is one to go look for. And suffice to say, this is not your first rodeo into the depths of hell, taking on the various legions of bad mother lovers. There is only a couple of cutscenes where you're forced to watch an event take place, but overall the game just says, fuck it, you have at it, son. Strangely enough, you may not actually miss the typical exposition that you expect in most games these days, and remarkably at the moment there's only been two actual other people you even encounter in the bloody game. The Doom Marine you play as is a silent man who seems to be in need of some LSD to calm the fuck down as he seems to be jolly angry about everything. Well, someone did unleash hell and get a lot of people killed and he was stuck in a box for an unknown amount of time so fuck it I think he's got a point. 
Along the way, you'll fight various bad guys between Mars and Hell with various weapons. One of which is a lovely chainsaw which not only serves as a cool way of dispatching enemies, and trust me, I am under describing the experience. You'll see it later. Just, just wait, just wait. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> yes, back to being professional. Yes. <laughs> but also, the chainsaw, once you chainsaw someone, it makes them shit out a ton of ammo for your various guns to keep you going in the fight. Same with the touted glory kill system when you perform said glory kill on an unsuspecting demon dude, chap, called Jeff, we'll call him Jeff. A small amount of health is released and you just keep on trucking. Add in an upgrade system where all your guns and indeed the Doom Marines capabilities can be improved upon, along with incredulously large and wonderfully designed levels, it does indeed seem that there's more to this than meets the eye when it comes to this simple shooty shooty bang bang affair. But it's one thing to talk about what Doom has in terms of its single player campaign, it's quite another to show it off in its full curvaceous glory. So let's do that shall we? And here we are in the new Doom, and it doesn't look that different at all, actually. Same music, uh, well, uh, lo not so lovely texture work, I gotta be honest. Oh, well, they've done something with the gun, but it's it's just a shitty pistol that you're with, you know. I swear that this is 2016, and they're supposed to have done some improvements, but oh, look at the texture work on that door. And oh, hello. Fucking hell, this gun's a pile of piss. Well, at least I can punch their heads off, but bloody hell, son! You know, I was expecting more than this! Okay, hardy hardy horror. This is not the new Doom. However, it is one of the secrets, of course, that you can find within the game. Ridiculously, there are these levers that you can find all around the place. And there's one per level, and that allegedly unlocks a level such like this, which you can enjoy be because it's, it's there. So, they, there you go. Ta-da! <laughs> and if you're jolly good campers, I'll even show you where to unlock the secret for this. Oh, sorry, I was a bit shit there. Well, mind you, I'm a bit shit in the game anyway. You know, what, what am I doing? There you go. Made in the barrel explode. That's all jolly good. But anyway, if you're very, very good, later on I'll show you how to actually unlock this particular level within the game. So let's actually go to the proper single player level that I was going to show if I had correctitude of thingy. Uh, oh, just as I get the lovely shotgun. Isn't that sweet? And here we are in the single player campaign campers in the level called Meltdown where, funnily enough, our main objective, as you can see, is stop the meltdown. Now, this is a playthrough again of a level I've already done and not got all the weapons. As you can see, got the pistol, the shotgun, the heavy assault rifle and the plasma rifle. Plasma rifle actually was a hidden um, weapon uh, that was a secret in the last level I discovered. But I've already played through this game, uh, well sorry, I've already played through this level, and therefore kind of know what I'm doing, but kind of also want to show some of the earlier gameplay without spoiling some of the later stuff, because seriously, you're gonna pretty much want to see that yourself. So, as you can see, it looks bloody gorgeous, doesn't it? Oh dear. Oh, dear me. Let's just, oh dear. Seems that shit's just, shit's going down in Funky Town, and that is Vega. It's a robot thingy, and we can't get through. We can't get through. This is unfortunately one of the cutscenes where uh, we are not allowed to progress just directly yet. Um, once they've talked through, meh, 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 then we'll be able to go into the facility itself. It doesn't do it too often, to be fair. So. You're not going to be stuck for trying to do uh, action or otherwise for too long. And here we are in the foundry. And oh dear god, that looks like it would hurt. <laughs> oh, hello. There's some nasty whippersnappers over there. I think they're tr going to try and do naughty to us. Let's go a fighting, shall we? Pew, pew, pew. Yeah. Ah! Oh! Oh! And there we go, glory kills! Absolutely, we like those glory kills! Oh dear! 
It think it looks like we made things go boom. We do like it when things go boom. Aha! And take that, you wee scamps. I tell you what, the glory kill system, you don't think it would work, but I tell you what, it bloody well does. And I tell you what, we're gonna shot uh, we're gonna change to the shotgun. And there we are, some health, and ooh. There we go. These uh, come up every so often. Basically, they're just codex. You can uh, read them or not. It really doesn't make any difference. Now this is a weapon upgrade thingy. If we press E, because we have a few uh, weapons at our disposal now, we can actually choose to upgrade them. I've done both bits on the shotgun already. For this, I'm actually going to go over the micro missiles with the heavy assault rifle, simply because it's great fun. Absolutely great fun. And there you go. Doom guy basically doesn't give a shit and just punches everything. I think he has some anger management issues, which, well, considering where he uh, started out from, I completely understand. Here we go, and shooty shooty bang bang! Woo woo! Ha <laughs> ha! You gotta love that! Absolutely gotta love that! Oh, shooty shooty bang bang! <laughs> Okay, might like the micro missiles a bit too much. Here we go, and ooh, we gotta play E. And we can press E here. There we go. It looks like we don't have any clearance, but what will this tell us? Uh Okay. Pretty much tells us that a big bastard was around here. <laughs> He's a happy camper. <laughs> God. Oh, hello. It looks like. Uh, oh, this looks like to be one of the main uh, one of the platform sections. Every so often, Doom gets, shall we say, very much vertical, and uh, as you can see. Landing on a, after a great distance, Doom Guy gives no shits whatsoever. Ooh, ooh, upgrade. Certainly going to take that. Thank you. You know, every time we take those uh, cards, I always equate it to someone's holiday snaps. We're just nicking them. We're going to take them to Boots for processing. But anyway, let's see. Have we got anything we can unlock and spend with our Brucey baby ponents? Uh, points, I should say, not ponents. I can't even speak correctly. Mind you, it doesn't matter, I'm playing DOOM! Don't need to speak, I just have to go MAN! Okay, so... Micro Missiles! In reduces the ammo cost of Micro Missiles! Oh, I think we're gonna purchase that already. Yes, we are. Absolutely gorgeous. Because unfortunately, by default, we'll probably burn through the ammo like nobody's business with this thing. With this thing. But Micro Missiles are so good! Whoop! And as you notice, um, wherever there are green lights, basically, that's kind of a clue as to that's where you can jump to. And you can jump quite far, yeah, more to the point. It's actually quite surprising. But hell, they don't seem to give two shits about doing that. Oop, there we go. And picked up some ammo and some other bits. And hello. That looks like to be the chap that was being dragged over earlier. Let's see, what are we going to... Ah. Well, that that's kind of one way of doing it, I guess. <laughs> oh, hello! Hello! Oh, right, he's not going anywhere. <laughs> Take that. Right. Now, let's see if this will work. There you go, who needs a bloody key when you've got an arm? <laughs> Ooh, right, it's going to be one of those arena, uh, arena bits. Well, basically, uh, the room goes under lockdown. And you have to fight some demons after you basically destroy these giant portal bollock things. So let's go destroy it. There you go. Rip out the thingy, the bulb, and let's get to fighting! Oh, oh, you little scamp. That's it, take it! <laughs> I have to say the gunplay in Doom is absolutely phenomenal. And thank you! Then <laughs> they're not exactly shy on, uh, well, making you cry. Let's put it this way. 
They have got more. They are more than happy to throw enemies at your uh, at you. And just the metal music when it amps up during combat, it's just it kind of all comes together. It's just absolutely awesome. Yes. And it looks like. By 25%. Yes, the demonic threat is reduced by 25% because we is awesome. And yay, that bit's done. And oop, just probably gonna get some armor. There we are. There's actually plenty. Oh, hello. What are you trying to do? Boom, boom, and good night, Sunny Jim. There you are, bish bash boosh. Looks like. We're definitely not getting through there, or indeed there, without the key. Yeah, there's one of those uh, portal bollocks through there. As you can see, though, the level itself is absolutely fucking huge. It really, really is, and I feel tempted to explore it. I mean, there are secrets all around the place. You are rewarded for exploring, so make no mistake. It's not a mistake for uh, having a look around, seeing what there is to do. And, well, put it this way... There is definitely plenty to do. And no, oh crap. No, no. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> well, that is definitely not going to be something I wake up from. Or is it? Thanks to the power of loading from checkpoints. Checkpoints, unfortunately, is one of the things that uh, it got introduced. And sometimes the checkpoints aren't entirely fair. Gotta be honest, but other times it's not too bad. It doesn't punish you unjustly. As you can see, you got the plasma rifle now, and this just absolutely will slice and dice and make them go down. They fall down. They're sad face. <laughs> Let's see if we can do any better this time. Oh, we got barrels. We can make them explode later. So, let's see, can we do it, can we do it, come on. See, it really doesn't take that long to get back here. Boo -boo, boo -boo. And I tell you what, actually, these shield guys are really fucking annoying. But that, <laughs> just be thankful that health can be very, very plentiful, especially when you do those glory kills. Because I tell you what, they are needed. Especially to keep you in the fight and fighting. Um... Especially against those shield guys, because they can be an absolute pain in the ass uh, for their health. Is there someone still shooting at us? No. Okay. It looks like we've just got to pick up the yellow key. Here we are. Yellow key card required. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, hello. What was that? Oh, the place is just exploding around me. <laughs> oh, oh, you little bastard. And. Who? Uh, um, shit. Uh, wasn't I? I've been through this level before. I forgot he turned up. <laughs> um, yes, as you might have noticed, big hairy bastards turn up now. Uh, shit, 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 shit. A heavy assault rifle, missiles. That's it. Oh, that is absolutely. In Okay, so, Big Mother Lover is starting to uh, turn up. <laughs> and a weapon upgrade point is now ours for the kill, or the taking, or whatever. Uh, oh dear. Let's see, let's see. What's through here? What? Hello. Someone's making a bit of a noise. Hello, campers. What you doing? Oh, hello. You're coming to say hello, are you? <laughs> Death from above is, uh, without a doubt, absolutely worth it. It's absolutely brilliant. Oh, you little... Oh, you little scamps. They're all just coming to say hello. Right, every... That, that noise as well. I tell you what, the audio in this is absolutely fantastic. And it it's... It's rare when you find all these buggers... They really don't let up at all. It's it's really something special. And it's actually, I suppose, it's special because we don't get it that often. Seriously. 
Oh, oh balls. I kind of walked into this one. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> but seriously, the combat and the enemies, it is absolutely uh, satisfying. Really genuinely is. And it's certainly not to the point of being annoying. And the and it is wonderful that they got those glory kills in. Because it is it's handy especially to keep going. Uh, anyone else around? Anyone else around? No one else around. Let's have a let's have a little gander over here. Is there anything to pick up? Yeah there is. We got picked up some stuff. That kind of looked like something to use, but no. And ooh dear. That looks a little bit dangerous. Actually, this whole area looks a bit dangerous. Let's let's see if I can die. <laughs> no, didn't die. Yay! And anything here? No. Oh! You were trying you were trying to outsmart me, were you? You wee scam. That's the thing, I just I just want a quick look around because there's Oh, demonic presence detected. I can't. I can't wander through. Damn it! I have to. I have to go and do one of those hellbolic things. Oh, not that way. Woo! <laughs> that is mighty dangerous. Trying to get that as well probably may be worth it, but uh, yeah, might be a little bit of an issue. So what we'll do? We'll get rid of the hellbolic over here. Whee! <laughs> And then prepare for the baddies. Yeah, definitely. I think we pissed them off now. <laughs> Let's see if I can jam my finger up its butthole. There you go. Oh yeah, he's definitely pissed now. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. If you know what the stupid thing is, this is remarkably not getting old. Even though one could argue that it's not against a huge variety of minions. I mean, this is pretty early in the game, but they do really give you uh, some real evil bastards to fight against later on. And it's glorious. Absolutely glorious. 50%. Okay. Well, 50%. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, right. Let's see. Okay, that way is open now. Hmm. Let's see what's through here then. Oh, we're all the way back here. Right, fair enough. Carry on. Uh, do, 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 do. Looking, we're gonna need some ammo, I think, at some point. Uh, yep. Yeah, shit, shit going down. Hello. Woo! And take that and party. <laughs> Oh, he's going to need to go and see the dentist afterwards. Hello! Seriously, it is absolutely no let up. Oh, bollocks! No! Uh, uh, shit, shit. Uh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, and... <laughs> and, and, and what the fuck? I, I apparently did a thumbs up to that. Yes, okay, Doom Guy liked that. Uh, if you're watching this for an absolute perfect play, you definitely were not going to get that. Look, I don't call this whole thing the gaming car crash or nothing, you know. <laughs> okay. So, we're back here. And we got rid of the nest earlier. Right, let's see. We're going to need to go back upstairs. And go back the way we came and not jump down into the lava. Jumping into lava is indeed very bad, and apparently, you're absolutely right, it is potentially bad for your health. There we are, jumpy, 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 and more jumpy, there we go. Right, we were over there, so let us proceed to over there. Oh, armor, thank you. Uh, do, 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 do. And right. Tell you what, let's go with plasma thingy. Wow. 
I tell you what, we're also going to try and use the chainsaw now. The chainsaw is one of the best ways of keeping in the fight, and to tell you what, yeah, there you go. Chainsaw! <laughs> Ooh! Yeah, and unfortunately, if you get a little bit too giddy, you might still want to actually pay attention to shit that's going on. <laughs> oh, you little bastard! You just did a little trick shot! Actually, the, the imps, where they run around, they are tricky little bastards. Right, no jumping down there. Jumping down there, bad. <laughs> and, ooh, by the looks of it, we got, we got an opportunity to upgrade, so let's go ahead and do that. And... No fucks given! Power! Although, mind you, I am surprised he doesn't say anything about he has the power, he man! Now, what are we going to go with? we got a choice of health, armor, or ammo. I'm going to go with health. Remarkably, I have a feeling I'm going to need that, especially as I've been a bit shit. Got to be fair. And we have got a little bit more room for ammo and everything anyway, so let's carry on. Right, looks like we've got to go this way. Oh! Yeah, shit! Uh, no, not, not crappy pistol! <laughs> not crappy pistol! Fucking hell! Die, you bastard! <laughs> Boosh! Okay, uh, clearly the game uh, doesn't give any shits about just chucking enemies your way. Okay, uh, ordinarily, ordinarily, if I hadn't picked up the plasma rifle already in a previous level, that's where it would be, in case anyone's wondering. Okay, we're still picking up stuff. There's a little PDA that I'm not going to read. Because this is who cares about story? This is all about pew pew! Shooty shooty bang bang! Hello! Oh, bollocks, it's another How many of each oh, Take it! Take it! Badoosh! <laughs> you absolutely have to love this. This is Oh I'm I might be in love. I I think he's not going to get up from that. <laughs> there we go. Get some armor up. And... Oh, hello. Hello, secret. Ah, uh, I haven't looked the plasma rifle model. Oh, I got a little dolly to play with. Oh, so lovely. Hello. <laughs> and good night. Right. Where are you, little bastards? Oh! <laughs> Jesus Christ, he just went flying off there! <laughs> okay, this is probably going to get rather interesting, so... Let's make it so. And she'll be coming around the mountain when she comes! Boop -a -boop, boop -a -boop. Oh, you gotta love the shooty shooty bang bang. Absolutely gotta love the shooty shooty bang bang. Might we may need some ammo in a bit, but we're doing all right at the moment. Right, picked up some armor. And oh, hello! Actually, he's chainsaw. <laughs> well, gotta be honest, that was very handy. <laughs> Oh, there we are. And let's download the map for this level. There we go. We know where we're going now. No, we don't. It's a complete lie. I mean, to be perfectly honest, trying to navigate through this and, and trying to find various things, it does take some getting used to. And it actually took me a little while to even figure out that the right mouse button actually meant you could move the map around like this. Honestly, I had no idea. Because I is that stupid. Okay, we got some upgrade points. I, I suspect it's probably going to be best if we spend some of those. Yes, yes, yes. Hmm, but what to do, what to do. Um, okay, uh, considering we're starting to come up against some real hard bastards, actually, I'm going to spend them, uh, the, the Brucey Baby points on micro-missiles. Because why not? Lovely, lovely, lovely. At least we picked up uh, quite a bit of uh, ammunition and everything now. Anything else in here? Nah, let's just keep going. Let's press on! Ooh, uh, nothing there, and, uh, well, it looks like this, happy chappy. 
is the one with the blue key card. And now we can go into the blue area. Whee! And jump. Whee! And, and, uh, oh, that's where, oh, that's how you get that armor there. You just got to, okay. You see, despite the fact I've played this level before, I'm still learning stuff. There's always stuff to find uh, if you explore around and, and take the time. It's really... Oh, hello! Hello, and goodbye. You are not long for this world. Oh, what the... Oh! I... You see, they're being re ghost I was going to say re scams, but no, they're being absolute bastards! Hell bastards! And... Where are they? Where are they? There's someone else around here. There's got to be someone else around. Shotty, 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 shotty. No, he's not getting up. And anyone around here? Ooh! Shotgun. Uh, sorry, not shotgun. Chainsaw petrol. We need petrol for the chainsaw. Petrol. Good. Right, it's one of those hell bollocks. We're going to have to do this, campers. Power! Hello! And explode! Oh, no, you don't! Oh, no, you don't! Where are you? Oh, damn! Oh, I think... I think getting extra health actually was definitely the right call. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Dear me! Ah! <laughs> there we go! Oh! Uh, sh uh, uh, different... Yep. Oh! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Yes! Damn it! Oh, that is so satisfying. And it looks like it's probably best that we heal up here. Thank you! You won't get that on the, you won't get that in America. This is British made, because it's NHS. I'm only saying that because I, that's the only thing I can think of in terms of jokes. Don't judge me. Well, you can judge me for. Okay, we're running a bit low on ammo. We're probably going to need some uh, happy-go-lucky stuff uh, as it time goes on. Oh, right. We can go out that way. We can go out this door. Aha! We can now go this way. Where we could not earlier. Let's probably change to this. And... Oh, dear. It appears stuff is happening, campers. What's gonna ha What's behind door number one? Well, what do you got for me, Johnny? Probably more demons, Mike. Ah, right. This doesn't look ominous at all, does it? Yep. On no account is any shit gonna happen here. That's it. Twat the button, and all will be well. Oh shit. <laughs> I think, I, I think this is possibly where stuff happens. <laughs> but as you can see, there's an awful lot of these arena style things where it's just, it gives you pretty much shit tons of um, alien, <laughs> I keep wanting to say aliens, they're from hell. Although mind you, arguably they are alien to Mars. Although mind you, so are humans, so what difference does that make actually come to think of it? Why am I debating this while trying to fight <laughs> fight the bloody monsters? Come back here! Come back! Yeah! Oh! Big mother lover! Big mother lover! Anyhow! Ye oh! I, that is so wonderful! And... Cheerio! Oh! What you... What the... Oh, you... He made me fall down! Take that, you bastard! <laughs> it's so good, that. It really is so good. Oh, hang on. I think we've done it. I think we've done it. Stuff, stuff, Steiner. Uh oh. Still, still nasty bastards. Still nasty bastards. Take that, nasty bastard. It looks like um, the, the demonic presence is not quite finished with me. But I'm not finished with it. Take it! Take it! And boom! Oh, come on! Come on! Come on, ya! Oh! <laughs> Just listen to that music! 
and oh, big hairy bastard, big hairy bastard, two big hairy bastards. Uh, die. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it is, shall we say, rather frank dick. Who's still around? Oh, I saw that. Who was that? He's over there! Boom! Boom! Who else? Come on, ya! Oh, okay! Hooray! We saved the day! Oh, hello. Someone's wanted to talk to us, so it's Dr. Claw. Oh, dear. Shit's about to get real, I suspect. Hello. Ooh, hello. Handy upgrade point. I think we'll take you. And I think we'll take your holiday snaps as well. Don't worry, son. They'll get delivered and, they'll get delivered and posted to your family. <sighs> dear me. Is this going to be a bit of a let up or what? Uh, ominous room. Obviously, nothing bad's going to happen here. Oh, oh, hang on. Can't move the mouse. Olivia Pierce. Uh. Hi. What you doing? Uh, I can't actually move the mouse. It, it, the cutscene just. It, this is unfortunately uh, something we can't skip past. But. Uh, music is starting to get a bit iffy. She is trying to tear open the portal between our world and theirs. Oh, thanks, Dr. Claw. Um, can't you do anything? Can't you just stop her? What? What is she doing? What are you... What, what are you doing? You could not have saved them anyway. Uh... Very much. <laughs> um. Bye. Well. Don't know about you, campers, but I think that we just had a giant fuck you. Oh, hello. And just, just politely spawn in. <laughs> Why don't you? Oh dear, who's talking to us now? Oh, it's Doctor Claw again. No worries. To shut down the Argent Tower yes. The surface. Let's shut down that Argent Tower. But no, by the looks of it, we have reached the end of the level, and that is, well, the single player experience. And how did we do? Oh, we, f we found a few things. We didn't find all the secrets, but that kind of is leading back into the replayability. I mean, I will say for one thing. If you do go back to um, earlier levels, once you found weapons and so forth, you do have them if you're in your arsenal. So therefore, you can actually, well, shall we say, overpower the enemies in a far more efficient manner. And dear me, I have definitely got to work on some of these. Definitely. So campers, this is the multiplayer, and in all honesty, it hasn't changed an awful lot since the last beta. You still got various things of customizations where you can just make your dude look pretty bloody garish, if you ask me. But anyway, you can piss around with all these different things and just make them look even more meh. Uh, aside from that, you can change the different styles and also still make them dance like Colton from The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, which is obviously what everyone wants to do when they're playing do multiplayer. Now, this is where it gets do uh, it does get more interesting. Basically, you do have a lot more modes than what you had to contend with in the beta. Uh, the ones that are populated the most are Team Deathmatch, Soul Harvest, and Domination. Warpath gets a few, and then the rest don't seem to really get that many people on. For the purposes of demonstration, we're gonna go into Soul Harvest. Here we are, now we just wait for a lovely game. There we go, that was pretty quick. And there we go, we're going into excavation for soul harvesting. Yes, this is all gonna be jolly good. Soul harvest. Kill your enemies and harvest 
Okay, it looks like we're joining a match in progress. And you know what? I'm going to go with rocket uh, launcher and assault rifle. And I'm going to be a Baron of Hell. Do -do -do. So here we are. This is the multiplayer. And... Uh, oh, no. That's, uh, that's us. Oh, uh, apparently I denied the uh, opposite team a soul, which is new. Didn't realize that was a thing. So basically, this is just like collecting little vouchers or soul things that they leave behind on the ground. There you go, just like that. And it's a race to the finish, basically, as to how many souls collected. And they killed me. Sad face. What I am going to do is spawn with armor plating. This is uh, one of those uh, loadout things that, uh, as you play the game, you basically get these. They're disposable tokens that uh, get used up during the course of play. Oh, bollocks. Yeah, I just got killed by the nasty, nasty demon. <laughs> Never mind, because every time I uh, die while uh, having this power up, Basically, uh, I respawn with even more armor, so eventually, if they keep doing this, it's going to be even harder to kill me. Although, apparently, <laughs> judging by what's happening with the team, it's not that hard. Okay, that, yeah. That was just never going to happen. But hey, you know, I tried. I tried. So as you can see, it's, you know, the, the same movement around and things like that. It's, oh my god, that is just evil, evil. Oh, I'm getting ripped apart. Oh, that's just nasty. That's nasty in the pasty. Probably, uh, you know, Cornish. Cornish pasty. Cornish pasty is nice. Oh! Yes! Oh my god, I don't care. Whatever else happens, I killed someone as a demon. I know I could have glory killed them uh, with the flashing and so forth, but uh, decided not to take the chance. And oh dear, dear, dear. It's just all going rather badly, isn't it? Unfortunately, this is the thing with multiplayer. There will be the uh, people that play this far too much, and then there will be people that actually don't give a toss about it, because... Let's be honest, a lot of us did get Doom for the single player. There we go. Ooh, I actually got someone. Oh, and they got me back. Oh, sad face. <laughs> it's rather odd to say sad face while playing uh, a multiplayer game like this. So it's quite fast as, you know, oh dear. There's, <laughs> there, there, there's various things that go on. And for the most part, it's, uh, it's not a bad mode. It works. I mean, it's there's not a huge amount of difference between what happened between the beta and this. It's just, I suppose it's nice to get the, the extra modes out. And, well, that that's kind of it, really. I mean, at the moment, uh, performance-wise in the multiplayer, it's around 45 frames a second on various things. And, oh dear God, I'm just getting absolutely slaughtered. Yeah, me. On the bright side, though, I'm getting a shit ton of armor. <laughs> yes, this is how crap I am. <laughs> this is how terrible I am. <laughs> oh dear. Ooh, that that that's gonna leave a mark. That is absolutely gonna leave a mark. You know, it's it's kind of it's it's satisfying for the most part. It's it's one of those modes that. You can spend the time playing once that you've done with the single player. Although, mind you, you've also got the options with... Um, oh dear god, what the... Um, right. That that apparently is another demon. No idea. Ah, oh, but my armor regens run out. Sad face. Sad face. Oh, and that... Yeah, as you can tell, my aiming absolutely sucks. And you know what? I don't actually mind. I mean, multiplayer, I suppose you could argue there's not going to be much time that you're going to invest in this. Uh, which is a bit sad because they have marked it as a complete thing. 
But, well, meh. It's, it's functional, it works. It's not going to hold your attention for that long, I dare say. And, oh dear, everyone's dancing. And what you'll see now is the XP thing, where, in essence, you level up your character to unlock various things. Here's some of the uh, add-ons and so on that you can get. And, oh dear, leveled up, and I've unlocked a new gun. Yes, you you unlock guns and guns. Yes, guns. You unlock guns in uh, the Doom multiplayer. You don't just pick them up through the levels, which I suppose is kind of disappointing. Um, but they've made that design choice, and that's about it, really. We can apparently have extra hack modules. We did some challenges. Yay! And I was piss poor. So, yay! That's the Doom multiplayer, ladies and germs. That's as much as we're going to cover in any case. So, campers, we're not quite done yet. Finally, we come to that snap map thing that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. And this is the one way id Software gives you to add more content to the game afterwards via a cut-down editor of levels, which you can use to create new game types and have single-player, co-op, and multiplayer levels albeit limited to four people. Which is a bit shit, really, when you come to think of it. I mean, there's no official modding support for Doom, which is a terrible pity if you ask me, as a lot of the fun came from people messing around with the game's assets and files and seeing what new shit they could reach. I have to, again, to refer back to Brutal Doom as an example there. It, I'm sorry, it just really stands up the, to the test of time even now. And it's just, it's incredible what people have done with it. While the tutorials are decent enough to allow people to get used to uh, Snap Map, I just wonder how long it is before people run into the limitations of the thing and lament the inability to do anything more creative. It's clearly been designed for the console people in mind and not necessarily taking into account what people have done in the PC gaming space. All in all, you're pretty much stuck with what id Software put into the mode, and we have no idea if anything will be expanded on in the future. As it sounds right now, Snap Map was... It's easy to get started with, especially with snapping together various components or blocks of levels, and then trying to work out some of the... Um, Probably the best way of describing this, some of the game logic, like say, what happens when someone runs over something? Does a gun spawn or does an enemy spawn? It's those type of things that will just take a little bit of time to uh, work out. But again, I do wonder about the limitations and I do wonder if people will get slightly frustrated that what they attempt to create within Snap Map will not marry up to anything that they could have actually done otherwise. So, Snap Map, is it something that would actually add in terms of value? Well, of course it does, because it allows you to create additional content once you've finished with the single player and maybe got bored with the multiplayer. But how far you can go with that and what type of things you can see from the community, only time will tell. As it stands right now, I don't know. I honestly don't know. It's a little bit of a tricky area to comment on. So, while we come up with a wonderful conclusion to this epically long video, we may as well chuck up some lovely footage of the Doom Marine wandering around hell and blowing shit to pieces. Well, and occasionally being a bit shit. Meh, what can I say? I'm not good at games. <laughs> this is a gaming car crash for, you know, some particular reasons, I've got to be fair. So, anyway, is Doom worth it? Well, to answer that, I will actually draw your attention to a quote which was posted online by a representative of id and Bethesda. Doom is comprised of a single player campaign, online multiplayer and snap map. After discussing, we believe all three elements are important parts of the complete Doom experience and are meant to be experienced as part of a complete package. Which, of course, they went on to explain that as Doom's snap map and multiplayer mode both require access to a server that won't be live prior to launch, that was why review copies didn't arrive on launch day. So, in keeping with Bethesda and Id's explanation, we must indeed consider Doom as a whole package. So we start with the single player, and honestly, 
The single player component is just point blank fantastic, make no mistake on that. It was absolutely fantastic fun. And remarkably, I have to say that the big word everyone seems to have used, especially in countless reviews, is surprising. And yeah, everyone has been, everyone has been surprised, honestly, by how good the single player campaign has been. And I tell you what, even just on its own, it seems to make the decision to hold back review copies until release day kind of baffling. I mean, honestly, just judging from the hours and hours and hours of fun everyone's been having, they've had nothing to worry about. Of course, the thing isn't perfect. In fact, more of the complaints I had have been on the performance aspect. Because during one level featuring some snow effects and so forth, it was quite far into the game, the frame rate dropped to 11 frames a second and made the thing unplayable, whereas earlier it was running relatively fine. However, a driver update and changes to my own PC system here helped to resolve that later, and I've not seen bad performance drops in, uh, in the game since, even on 1440p with fairly decent settings. I tell you what, while we're remarking on the PC version as a whole, the options they give you for tuning and monitoring performance in the game is just beyond wonderful, and everyone should indeed credit id with making a really decent PC game for sure. The incredibly fast-paced shooting, coupled with decent enemy variety, introduced at regular intervals, excellent level design, encouraging you to explore and find new things, find secrets, and just... It was just a pure joy. It really was. The music, when it kicks into gear during combat, is just absolutely fucking awesome. And just fits in fantastically well with what's going on screen. In fact, the sound should get an excellent mention. As you hear ambient noises when not in combat, really giving some atmosphere. And then you get some heavy metal grunge stuff uh, going on when you're kicking ass. I do actually have to mention this, the systems you think would be so out of place in a game like Doom, whose namesake, you know, from all those years ago, it was always simple, uh, clean, gruesome fun, I tell you what, it just works really well and just keeps you in the fight. The glory kills are just fantastic and easy to pull off, let's be honest, they still just look awesome, especially just... It depends on where you're looking at the enemy that you you get a different glory kill each time. It's wonderful. And you always feel giddy when you pull out the chainsaw to tear open some demonic bastard just to refill your ammo stock or just because you feel insanely cruel. Honestly, it just made the evil little bastard inside me just smile from ear to ear. I mean, I tell you what. You can argue that the single player is worth the price of admission alone, but of course we have the other components to consider. So the multiplayer I suppose I should remark on next, and the multiplayer is solid, and I suppose despite what I said about it, I one thing I did neglect to mention is that it did actually just work on day one of release, which, let's be fair, should be considered an achievement these days considering all the problems multiplayer games seem to have. It's just, I, I don't understand it myself, but hey, what can you do? It seems to be the day and age that we live in. Oh yeah, something works. Oh my god, 10 out of 10. <laughs> oh dear god. I tell you what though, it is just a shame you have to unlock weapons rather than pick them up on the maps themselves like other arena shooters. And it, you kind of thought it would have been an arena shooter from id. And I suppose the leveling up for cosmetic crap and I suppose those... Um, Little booster things, they, they may have limited appeal if you don't care about such things or don't intend to use them. The progression unlocking the various functions to give you an edge in the game, I suppose they do help you for a time, but they only make a difference at the right time. And some of them are questionable in terms of usefulness, I, I have to be honest. The sad thing here is that the single player kind of overshadows everything else in the package. I mean, given the fact that it, it seems to show that someone else did work on the multiplayer, and it was a different developer, by the way. It did only worked on the single player campaign. By that, have the other developers working on the multiplayer kind of made this a little bit too forgettable? I mean, will people stick around with the multiplayer in Doom for a long time? That I'm not entirely sure on because already certain game modes are lacking players and you 
you basically just loiter around forever and a day, and that means you're only going to stick to the two most popular modes, which seems to be typical Dean Deathmatch and Freeze Tag. To be honest, without further improvements and maybe changes and maybe additional modes, I'm not entirely too sure. And in fact, the Season Pass, in case you're wondering, it only covers multiplayer content. So there is more to come on the multiplayer side. So whether or not that's worth it, very much uh, difficult to say right now. And if you're only caring about the single player, then of course you're not going to bother getting the Season Pass in the first place. You'd, it's just a waste of time spending the extra cash. And we come finally now to, last but not least, Snap Map. I tell you what, it is very, very good that they've included an editor that everyone can use on every platform. PC, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4. But I have to be honest, it really needs expanding out in terms of options for players to create levels. And seriously, they do actually need to up a four-player limit that they seem to have had added to the mode for no reason I get I'm not entirely sure why in order for people to really get to grips with it and I tell you what include an awful lot more content to allow people to create different maps certainly add the hell uh, set that would definitely make things a little bit more interesting and I tell you what even just allow actual modding for Doom on the PC and I tell you what you really will win people over I mean that was some of the beauty with the old Dooms, once they released the source code, everyone just had at it and created some really good shit with a really old game. I, I, again, only time will tell in terms of support and so forth, how Snap Map will develop, and perhaps it will provide longevity for the game as a whole, but right now, kind of difficult to see. And for me, my time won't actually be spent within Snap Map right now. I suppose it sounds like towards the end there I was getting a bit of a Debbie Downer. But remember, Doom, overall, considering all the bits and bobs, is it worth getting? Yes, yes, a thousand times yes. What? I tell you what, why the fuck are you still watching this video? Go, go play the bloody thing. Now, go. Single player, just outstanding. Solid enough, but I suppose forgettable multiplayer, which uh, provides a, an additional distraction for you. And, well, Snap Map is there for additional options at a later time. Which, again, I said it, I, I really do hope they have long-term support for it and really expand our options. But, seriously, Doom, I really do recommend this game. I, it's not a shock considering everyone else's opinion I know on the internet and let's be honest there's like thousands of bloody YouTube videos all saying pretty much a lot of the same thing but seriously there could have been a game released which was over hype here especially with the Doom name and I tell you what there were there were reservations perhaps coming in from the Doom multiplayer for a lot of people but I tell you what instead what we got oh dear god oh dear god a thousand times yes! It made me do naughty! <laughs> so have you bought Doom yet? You bought it yet? You bought it yet? You bought it yet? Come on, have you bought it yet? Have you bought it yet? Well, campers, before I do the usual sign-off thingy, um, I did kind of promise a little something earlier on in the video, and some of you may consider this a little bit of a spoiler, but if, for those of you that don't actually give a crap, here is how to unlock that original Doom level. So this is the second level called Resource Operations and basically towards the start of the level you've got to do a bit of jumpy jumpy like this and you don't necessarily know this straight away but as you saw it is possible to traverse up those boxes and then you do this to the lever, it takes an age and then you just hear a -da 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 -da, go off. That's a little sting to tell you that you've actually opened a doorway to the secret. But where is it here? Well if you just drop down as you just saw Oh look, it was right next to it, and hurrah! Classic Doom! Just open the door and... Secret is unlocked and the classic map is now ready for you to play um, whenever you wish, if you're bored, and so on. As you can see though, they only put bits of the level in, they never put in the entire thing. That's obviously the fun and frolics you can have later on, dear campers. Isn't that sweet? Well, there you have it, campers. Doom as a whole package. Remember, we were told to consider Doom as single player, multiplayer, and snap map. It is well worth the admission price for sure. Absolutely without question. And 
I honestly can't wait to see what comes next from it. I, I kind of hope that they expand the single player out. But, of course, we know there's a season pass for the multiplayer, and I guess they'll be working on that first, more than anything else. But, nevertheless, Doom, ladies and gentlemen, you can pick it up for PS4, Xbox One, and, of course, the PC. How could I forget the PC? Why did I even put that last? <laughs> oh, dear me. But anyway, you can pick it up for various prices and from various places. And that will just about do it for this video. And, of course, there'll be uh, the graphic thingy I put in afterwards where you can look for various things to care about. But bollocks to all that. All, that, all that's left for me to say is uh, bye like a crazy person while waving my arm around going... Eee. So, best not disappoint on that case, eh?